All right, so in the last video, you learned about how to create the flip animation using the rotation 3D effect and also linear gradients. And in this video, we are going to work on the actual user interface. So our user interface or UI looks exactly like a nice, beautiful card. So I'm going to start with the credit card front component or view. And we already have a V stack over here, which only consists of a front saying text field or text. We want something else. What do we want? Well, we want to create some sort of a logo or mark. So I'm just going to say H stack. And again, there are so many different ways of arranging this. You can use a Z stack also and use other techniques but I'm simply going to use a different technique over here. And then I'm going to use an image, system name. And the images, we can say checkmark.circle.fill. Where do I get this name? Well, if you go ahead and search for something called a SF symbols tool or app, you can download it and you can use that. For the foreground, I can use a different color. So I can change the foreground of this particular image by simply saying foreground white. There we go. For the V stack, I'm going to go ahead and say over here that alignment that we are going to do will be leading. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and add a spacer and making sure that the spacer is inside the edge stack. So it's going to push everything away. You'll see, there we go. You can see the spacer is pushing everything now. All right. And what do we want? Well, the next thing we want is some sort of a text saying something. So in this case, we'll simply say the text will be saying visa. So there we go. We just added a visa text. Everything you can see is very much like aligned right now uh, at the very corner, right? I mean, we can definitely fix those things. We can add a little bit more padding to it. So let's check it out our V stack. So if you look at the V stack, it ends right over here. After the frame, we can apply dot padding. Give it a little bit more breathing room. There we go, much nicer. Okay. What else we need? Well, we definitely need to add more stuff, but not on inside the edge stack. We are going to add some stuff inside the V stack. So I'm just going to say spacer, which means I'm just going to push everything up. There we go. Perfect. Next up, we need the text to be saying some sort of a credit card number. So something, 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 something. Just going to get hide the credit card number and the last four can be two, eight, six, four. And then foreground color. So foreground color, you can say white. You can see how quickly we are able to build this kind of an interface. The font size has to be a little bit larger because the credit card number is the main thing in your app. So I'm gonna just make it like 32 or something. And I need this to be pushed up. So I'm just going to say spacer, then it's going to push up a little bit more. Perfect. The next part is we will create, or we will allow the user to enter their card holder name. So this will be a edge stack because we want to stack things up a horizontal wise fashion. Inside the edge stack, I can go ahead and say V stack because now the things have to go uh, up and down and then alignment, which will be leading. I can go ahead and add text, which will say card holder name. There we go. So this is just a heading basically saying that, hey, what's the card holder name? Let's see on the interface, how it appears. There we go, it's right at the bottom. And we can also go ahead and add the name. Now, in this case, I'm just going to add the hard-coded name, which we will eventually change. 
So instead of name variable, we're just going to say, there we go. Let's see on the right hand side. Okay, looks pretty good. The other thing to note over here. All right, so the other thing that we want to add is definitely the expiration date. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and go inside the edge stack, the horizontal stack, that stack, and then give it a little more spacer. And now I can go ahead and add a V stack, which will show the expiration date. Now for the expiration date, I'm just going to hard code it for now. So I can say 0, 2, 23. And let's see if the view actually updates to show our changes. There we go. Looking pretty nice, right? We can also go ahead and if you want, we can also go ahead and create or have our gradients, but I think the gradient looks pretty good. I mean, we are using gradients, but let's try our different gradients. Let's go ahead and try this out. Just gonna remove the background and add a new background with a different gradient, a little bit different, not too much. There we go, it looks really good now, right? And we can apply the same exact technique for the credit card back. I mean, that's the same exact thing that we're doing. So let's go ahead and find the credit card back, which is this one. And let's go ahead and send the credit card back to our preview so we can preview it. So I'm just gonna replace this with credit card back. And over here, I'm also going to say credit card back. So we can see the back being rendered. The back kind of looks kind of plain. There's nothing much going on. We can also improve the back of the credit card. Let's remove the text. And instead of the text, we're gonna start with creating a rectangle, kind of like the strip, the black strip that goes on the back of the credit card. Let's go ahead and save this. There we go. And the strip is kind of like in the middle. We are inside the V stack, so we can always use a spacer. So let's go ahead and use a spacer to move it up. Perfect. And now finally, we can actually again use a H stack, which can make it nicer. And this will allow us to enter a CVV code, which is I'm gonna enter one, two, three. Now, one thing to keep in mind over here is that we are adding a rotation effect. And the reason we are adding a rotation effect is that we need to rotate this again, the text, especially the text again, so that it is looking nice. Let's go back to, and that's pretty much it. Let's go back to our content view. Wait for the view to be updated. Ooh, very nice, beautiful. Let's go ahead and run this. And now if I click on it, see that? The reason that we did the rotation on the text is that if we didn't do the rotation, then it would be all like inverted, rotated. So we did the rotation again. So now it looks really nice. And it looks very, very beautiful. You can see the card is coming really nice. The next thing that what we want to do is that we want to create some sort of a form in our page that will allow us to enter information and then it goes into the name, expiration date, and also the CVV code. That is what we're gonna do in the future lecture. If you like to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have a course on Swift UI, it's called Swift UI declarative interfaces for any Apple device. You can see that this is close to a 20 hour course. So it's pretty much covered everything you ever imagined about Swift UI. It starts from the very beginning and then it can take a deep dive into many different concepts, including property wrappers, core data, Swift UI, recipes and animation on all devices, and even a huge section on Swift UI for iOS 14. I'm also going to show you how you can integrate with pedometer and healthkit data and even draw charts using Surf UI. So this is the complete course on Surf UI. 
I would say if you are interested in this course, then check out the YouTube description and you will be able to find many different courses that I have created. Uh, and I would really appreciate if you try out different courses that I have. But the best way to get these courses is by checking out the YouTube description. You will find the links, click on the link, and you will be able to get these courses. Thank you so much and enjoy the video.